Hey everybody, I wanted to do a video for Cub Fan 7523 tonight. He's away on military duty right now. He said he won't have access to YouTube or really anything online for 30 days. I think he's about halfway through that now. It was a couple weeks ago that he made that video. So I just wanted to try to get him a few more subscribers and hopefully he can come home to a lot of comments and a lot of love on his channel. And I was actually planning on doing this to get him over the 300 subscriber mark, but I just checked and he already got over there. He was at about 296 about a week ago and looks like he already got some new ones there, but let's try to get him even more. So I wanted to make this video in his honor. He does a series called Beer and Ball Cards, so that's what we're going to do here today. My beer today is this Corona Familiar. I don't have a lot of beer options around my way. And disregard my fancy coaster right there and the ball cards I'm going to show are this stack of 97 finest baseball cards I'm sure some of you have seen the stacks of cards back there in some of my videos but I just been picking up a ton of lots from the 90s this is like three lots put together in there I haven't really sorted through them yet so just gonna show some of those because I kind of like this set they had a few different designs that's the one they use for most of the pitchers, the hurlers. Troy Percival, who was a decent closer. And I even got a bunch of doubles here because, again, this was multiple lots. There's one for the Puerto Rican PC, Roberto Hernandez. This was another one of the designs, Masters, Dante Bichette. There you got Rafael Palmero. So I just like having a bunch of different ones of these because I remember... Back in the day when these come, came out, I couldn't really afford too many of them. Those were the prospects at the time, Blue Chips, Edgar Renteria. But yeah, I don't really remember what the packs of these used to cost, but I just remember I couldn't buy too many of them. Probably bought like four or five of them back in the day. That's about it. So that's part of the cool thing now that you can go back and pick some of this stuff up. There's another design there, Power, Carlos Delgado. But yeah, back then my budget for packs was maybe like two bucks. This was a bit more than that. Nice Warriors there, Omar Vizquel. Got two of those. Again, I'm sure there are quite a few doubles in here. Just got to really sort through it. There you go. One for the Yankees collection, Paul O'Neill. Might already have that, actually. There's another Blue Chips, Mike Sweeney. I remember he was pretty good for a few years. Good batting average guy. Another power, Ellis Burks. There's also some kind of names here that nobody really knows, like Al Martin. So I'm trying to skip through some of those. There's a nice one, Bernie Williams. I think I have the refractor of this, but not the base. There's a pretty big name, Barry Bonds. Cool one there. So yeah, a lot of this obviously is just gonna be a lot of binder material. Another nice one there, Piazza. And there you go, Jason Cup fan, Ryan Sandberg. I'll send that over to him, he's a big Ryan Sandberg fan. There you got some more prospects, don't really know any of these guys, Rocky Coppinger. Jeff D'Amico, kinda remember him, I think he spent a year or two with the Mets. There you go, Dustin Bellinger. Darren Erstad, one of your Nebraska boys. So yeah, just a cool mix here. A lot of you know I like going through these big lots, just sorting through them. There's another Yankee, Wade Boggs. Just a cool set overall, but I don't think I'd ever put in the effort to make the complete set. Here you got a Pedro with the Expos. John Olerud, a couple of us been talking about him recently. Haven't really been showing the backs on these, but even the backs were pretty cool. And of course, they had like the silver parallels and the gold and all that, but don't have any of that here. Nice Ivan Rodriguez. These are all just base. Again, got this stuff pretty cheap. Each lot was like five bucks or less. Jay Buhner. Bobby Higginson, he had a few good years in the 90s. 
There's one for you Phillies guys, Mike Lieberthal. Got a Jermaine Dye, Blue Chips. Very underrated hitter in his career. Another Puerto Rican there, Edgar Martinez. It's cool that these all still have the protective peel on them. There's a Barry Larkin. Shout out to Zombie Collector. Pat Henkin, former Cy Young. Even though I think Andy Pettit was robbed that year. Andy had like 21 wins that year and didn't win the Cy Young. It's a pretty cool Will Clark right there. Dave Nilsson, I remember he was from Australia. One of the few Australian big leaguers. So I'll just show a few more here. Marty Cordoba, former Rookie of the Year. And of course, can't forget about the beer part of beer and ball cards. So that's pretty good. Tom Goodwin, he signed a TTM for me when he was the Mets first base coach. And again, seeing a decent amount of doubles here, so some of these might end up in care packages. There's a nice Ricky Henderson with the Padres. I think he only spent like one season there. Nice Doc Gooden. Don't believe I have that one. Luis Castillo, blue chips. He hung around for a while. He played into the 2000s. Another Yankee there, Joe Girardi. So yeah, and I have back there, I have a lot more 90s lots that I've been meaning to show, but obviously these videos take time. Not everybody's into these types of videos. There's a Jermaine Allensworth. Don't think he ever really did anything, but I remember always pulling his cards back then. Kevin Brown had a good career pretty much everywhere except here in New York. Reggie Sanders, another pretty underrated outfielder. Justin Thompson, I remember he was like a big left-handed prospect, but was just kind of mediocre in the big leagues. Let me see, I'll just show a few more. Brian Jordan, really liked him in the 90s. Played with the Cardinals and Braves. I actually snuck a 96 one there. That's 96 finest. Jose Herrera. Here's a Ray Ordonez for the Mets binders. Again, I keep saying I'm just going to show a few more, but just a lot of cool names from the 90s here. Brian McCray. Really liked him when he was with the Mets. Good, solid outfielder. B.J. Serhoff, I remember one year there was rumors that the Yankees were going to trade for him. Didn't happen though. Mike Messina with the Orioles. Another cool one there, Jeff Bagwell. So there's some decent 90s names here. Not a ton of superstars. I think Bonds was the biggest name I found so far, but still I like a lot of these players from back then. Jose Valentin, that's another one for the Puerto Rican binders. Another one for the Puerto Rican binders, Javi Lopez. And I did, again, I did not have a lot of these cards, so gonna have a lot of fun putting these away. Denny Nagel. I guess we'll end on this guy right here, Garrett Anderson. Really liked him, tremendous hitter back in the day. Didn't really get his due because he wasn't a big power hitter, but could definitely hit for high average. Remember, he used to kill the Yankees. But there it is. That's the episode of Beer and Ball Cards for Jason, Cup Fan 7523. Like I said, please check him out. Does some great videos. Could use some more comments on his channel. I'm sure it'd be really cool for him to come home and see a lot of new subscribers, see a lot of new comments. So check him out. I'll leave his link. I'll talk to you guys soon.